The third annual Black Arts Expo took place at Missouri State's Welcome Center on Friday. This event highlights black entrepreneurs, singers, poets, musicians, painters, and many more. Founder and owner of Pretty Little Candle Company, Tia Latimer, said she is grateful for events like the Arts Expo because it encouraged her to start her own business. I wanted to do a side hustle job, but I wanted to do something like that I love to do that I won't be like stressed to do it. So I just went and looked on like different um, craft stuff. I like crafting things with my hand. So I did look up like I was looking at hair, lashes, um, and then I got on candles because I feel like that's very, very popular um, out in the world. So that's where I stuck on. Samaya King, a nail artist entrepreneur, said one of her biggest challenges has been finding clients but that being able to participate in the Black Arts Expo has helped her meet and build a clientele she otherwise would have never found. It's to meet a whole new group of people who I probably would have never seen ever because I don't really leave my house much. So it's really nice to be able to be exposed to so many different people from, you know, your Missouri State so the body, which I would never have came in contact with. So I'm so excited for things like this. I really enjoy it. Information on different clubs and organizations like the Bears Lead Program, African Student Association, the Association of Black Collegians, and the NAACP is also given out during the event. Areas to talk with small businesses, take photos, and watch performances were the staples of the night. Founders Talia Wilson and Nasa Adams said the Black Arts Expo is meant to highlight the unique talents and success of the black students at Missouri State, and that planning for next year's event has already begun.